Okay, um, yesterday I showed you how to draw the uh, all the parts for the sign handle teapot. And here they already been uh, drying. It's at the uh, radar stage. So I'm going to show you uh, how I trim it and then how I assemble them together. So the lid is a little bit, um, like I told you before, uh, I usually make my lid a little bit uh, bigger than the actual size. So uh, after I trim, either trim this part or this part, they will fit uh, nice and perfectly here. Um, so I will trim it and then um, I will try to, uh, after I trim, I will try to assemble the spout here and then um, the uh, size handle and those going to be on the side so I will show you how to uh, put them together um, since uh, the most important part is the assemble uh, section so I will use the uh, time-lapse photo uh, video so that uh, you can fast forward. So uh, with the uh, fast forward, you see the uh, uh, process in a uh, couple of minutes. So this is the body with the lid stun. And uh, since my um, my lid is fitting very tight, it couldn't even move. So uh, to be able to for the uh, uh, water or tea to come out uh, I need to put an air hole here on the lid so I will use a um, hole puncher to uh, make a hole here right by the lid okay so I raise it up and put it on the hand wheel Um, this is the spout. Um, I usually put it up uh, before I start to trim. I usually put it behind, okay, behind it, behind, so I can cast a shadow for uh, what kind of curve I need to trim. Um, I'm using my number seven trimming tool. So um, after I uh, roughly trim it, there's still a little bit of a gap uh, on both sides here. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a little gap here, meaning uh, this part here I need to uh, trim a little bit more. 
But uh, here is a trick for you, um, a tip for you. Um, you could get a um, hacksaw blade with the teeth and use the teeth of the hacksaw blade and just use that to square up some of the clay. So now it's fitting uh, almost there, almost fitting just a little bit more. Okay, so now just let me line up. And I'm using the uh, needle tool to draw along the outside part of uh, the spout. So draw a line so I will know where to uh, punch holes, the area to punch the hole. So yeah, use the edge of the uh, spout and uh, use the needle to draw. So this is where I'm going to uh, punch holes. So I usually start with two holes and then um, just from there uh, I cut punch a hole from the middle So a whole bunch of holes there and then uh, use a needle tool to score so I use a brush to uh, brush the uh, slip right by the joint I dip a little bit. Uh, I dip in the water for uh, this part here, so this the joint will get a little bit softer. So when I'm attaching it, I can attach it better. So. Right now, um, after I apply the pressure, right by the joint, I'm gonna use this tool. Okay, this is the um, plastic knife 
you can get it from uh, fast food uh, fast food store and uh, just grind up the teeth I'm gonna use that to uh, compress the seam line so you compress it And there's also a very good tool. This is made out of rubber. It's a rubber. And it's good to uh, smooth the, uh, the seam line. Um, this is from uh, my friend. Uh, he has a store. Uh, it's called Chinese Clay Art. Chinese Clay Art. And I think they, they are selling it. It's a very, also very good for getting the uh, seam line nice and smooth by just using the edge of this rubber tool to smooth it. And after I done with the uh, rubber tool, so the brush use a brush to uh, brush water right by the uh, seam line. Okay. Right. So that's the spout. Um, you can see that the spout actually is a little bit too tall. Consider, uh, I usually tell people that um, the uh, three-point rule for making a teapot, meaning the uh, handle, um, the top of the rim, and the top of a spout should be on the uh, same level. And this is a little bit too tall, so I will trim it off. And also, I always uh, tell people that when you throw your spout, um, after fire, if you don't uh, compensate it, uh, if you don't trim it at, at an angle, clay has been memorized that it's been pulled at the clockwise direction, so the uh, clay has memory, so it will twist after fire, twist the clockwise direction because it's been uh, memorized that the clay been poured in the clockwise direction. So meaning that uh, I will leave the left hand side part a little bit low and the right hand side part a little bit higher. So after the uh, after fire, they're gonna twist so they will even out. And um, how how much the uh, twist? I will say about. Uh, 15 degrees, okay, 15 degrees. So you wanna keep that in mind. So before, uh, when you, you are cutting, if you wanna cut your spout as an angle, make sure that the left side is a little bit lower, okay, from from the direction you, you see it. This side lower and that side higher, so you're gonna twist. Um, after that, I use a sponge to uh, just smooth, smooth it. So that's the uh, spout. It's been made. Uh, 
And here's the um, the handle that I told you that I, when I throw it, uh, I did a little bit of a paddle stall. So this is the paddle stall so that I could get my finger there to pull it up from the hump. So I'm just going to cut the paddle stall off. Just a little piece of a clay there, so the whole piece is not going to. Uh, when you pick it up, uh, the whole piece will stay that the shape. So this is going to be the uh, the handle, and I usually put my side handle uh, a little bit of angle. Okay, so. When I'm putting the hang angle, I need to cut the top portion off a little bit. Again, you can use the hacksaw blade, use the teeth of the hacksaw blade to remove the clay. Right, so this is about about 90 degrees okay with the spout and the handle is about 90 degrees and I can make a mark to where I'm gonna joint So this is the way I'm going to joint. Again, uh, dip it in the water a little bit. And uh, also here I need to score it. And then I apply slip. Slip on the handle too.
Okay, so this is the uh, side handle keypad that I show you how uh, I make them and uh, assemble them together, trim, assemble them together.